So I'm going to try and show you how to create a Bob Ross brush per uh, the request of someone in fifth hour. So first of all, we need to create a new button for Bob Ross. So uh, I have just one button in this program. So we'll create Bob Ross, but two T's. Why not? Uh, no, I'll just keep it consistent. Um, we also need to create an array list, and in this case, we're going to create an array list of uh, point objects just so we can store the location where we should where we want to draw the um, Bob Rosses which is what I'll call that so a point is a new type of object that you haven't worked with yet and all it does is it stores X and Y coordinates um, so it's useful so you don't have to have two different array lists basically uh, one for X and one for Y we're just going to create one array list of points uh, Alright, so uh, in addition to that, we need to create a buffered image that will be our, uh, where we'll store our picture of Bob Ross. So I'm going to create a private buffered image, which is just uh, the primary image class in Java, and we'll call this Bob Ross. And uh, we need to import that, and buffered images are something you're going to work with quite a bit but we haven't done it yet at all. So now we need to initialize the things. Oh, and in addition, um, let's see. I'm not quite sure I want to do this. Um, yeah, we need to have a, we need to actually have a couple more things. So we're going to create a private uh, int to keep track of what shape we currently want to be drawing. So private int current shape, and we're going to create two public final integers, which are just, it's a way to give a name to an int. So you can just, it makes your code more readable. So I'm just going to say circle, oh yeah, we really have to create a circle button too. Okay, and then a public final int Bob Ross to help us remember, oh, and this should be circle, we'll just have it be one and Bob Ross will be two. And basically this is just so that you don't have to constantly create or use like strings and do string a dot equals. It's just a kind of annoying to have to do that. So we actually have to also create a circle but um, because I hadn't done that in this version before. Okay, so now we have a bunch of stuff we better initialize. So let's go down and initialize stuff in the, it's all gonna be in the um, brushes panel. So we have a new button. Uh, where do I initialize the array lists? Uh, okay, the colors, so we'll do Bob Ross's equals new array list point objects. And we need to scroll down here. And after clear but, we're going to initialize two buttons circle but and equals new j button circle and Bob Ross but equals new j button Bob Ross. And so we have those initialized. Am I forgetting anything? Um, yeah, we should current shape equals, we'll start it at circle. Okay, so we have our array list set up. We need to initialize the new Bob Ross image. So, um, okay, that's the first video. I'm just going to pause there and I'll start up in another video.